Okay, hello. Let's go for this Pine Barrens. It's like we're Robert Cushman. We're by Robert Cushman Murphy Park. We're just on the road. This is right around where those fires happened. The larger one, actually. I don't see any evidence, but I do smell it. You can see there's some pitch pines. There's also some tamaracks up there, too. You see those trees right there? Those are called tamaracks. They are, they are conifers, but they lose their needles in the winter. Okay, so um, the trail is going to begin right where that car is parked there, and that's where we're going to make a right and hit into the woods here. All right, so this is one of the DEC hunting spots here. But we'll take this uh, trail spot here. Look at these shapes here. And yesterday was beautiful, but I... I didn't get to the Pine Barrens. That's some stuff to do. I took a nice walk around East Wollaston, which was nice. Found a nice little tiny park in there, but uh, of course I'd much rather be in the Pine Barrens, so here we are. <laughs> Alright, so this park has some nice lakes to it as well. Yeah, there's some tamaracks. Those had, had to be planted, though. I don't think they're native to Long Island, but uh, they are pretty, though. There's another tamarack right there. They're needle trees, but they grow in their needles in the summer, and, and they lose them in the winter. Unlike pines, which keep the needles year-round, obviously. Beautiful. Let's see the oaks definitely budding. It's quite pretty. Big beauties here, big beauties. Check that out, that is beautiful. Look at the color from the oaks and the pines. It's uh, that beautiful blue sky. So we're gonna be heading west on this trail here. Look at this, just, it absolutely is beautiful. all that color it's beautiful uh, it's just delicious all right so we're gonna be going down this trail it's pretty straight so it'll take us to the lakes Wow, incredibly piney over here, and this this really reminds me a lot of. It's just like New Jersey, you know, with these really old, interesting-looking pitch pines here. It's beautiful. You got a lot of tall pitch pines here. So coming to the lake, I forgot the name of it. it's called Grassy Pond or Sandy Pond. I don't remember. We'll be at that lake in a little bit. Oh, it's nice and cool today, so that's why you gotta enjoy the cool weather, because once it gets hot, you're not gonna want to be out here. <laughs> the flies are gonna be over, man, I'll tell you about it. The flies, something give me stuff. And yeah, we have flies here, but man, New Jersey, they, New Jersey is the worst flies. I think the pine fly is New Jersey's official state bird, along with the mosquito. I don't know, they're pissing match between the two of them. <laughs> Uh, absolutely spectacular, let me tell you. Some big pines here. And I love the colors in the oaks mixing with the pines. It's really, it's really spectacular. Just look at these delicious shapes here. Man, that sky is so beautiful too. Beautiful, look at that. Alright, we're heading over to the lake now. Oh, so many just... So many delicious shapes here. A lot of old pitch pines here, I'll tell you. A lot of... 
are in the lake, which looks nice and full too. Gonna be a little breezy at the lake. That breeze is refreshing though. So I'll take this over the heat, I'll tell you that. absolutely beautiful here absolutely I've been standing here for about 15 20 minutes just taking the scene and it's just incredible Take a look at these shapes here. Mmm, smells so nice too. Oh man. Some big ones here too. Delicious, man. I love this spot, man. It's just amazing. You could spend all day just in this spot, but we gotta check out some more places. Ah, just so many beauties here. Man. All right, so we're going to go to the other side of the lake now. There are a couple of other lakes you can check out too. What kind of bird is that? I don't know where to go. I see some birds over there. Yeah, it's having trouble focusing, no surprise. Yeah, it's very hard to catch them on video. Yeah, you gotta put some pictures in so you can see. Cause it's much harder to capture the birds on video than to just take a picture. Let's look at these shapes here. Oh, the color is incredible. Well, 
Oh man, I tell you, beautiful. I haven't seen another human while I'm here. Oh, they're not coming here, I guess. See, some parks are probably packed, and then other parks, like this, is just empty. This is too far off the beaten trail for most people, I think. Which is okay by me. I'm not here to see people. I'm here to see shapes and nature. Or just the trail, I'll take us to the other side. Look at these colors from the oaks. When they first bud, they're very beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go for another look at the other side of the pond now. I think there is another pond over there that we're gonna check out too. This is an amazing place. Ooh, it's a dragonfly. Just resting over there. All right, take a look. Here's the lake. Such a beautiful lake. It's amazing. Anyway, let's continue on. Because we got some more shapes to look at. Take a look at these shapes here. Look at these shapes, huh? Delicious. Take a look at these shapes here, huh? There's actually somebody hiking with about four dogs that they were walking away from me. Look at this just delicious scenery here. Delicious sky, delicious shapes, what more could you ask for? Amazing. Yeah, there's another trail that goes that way. We're not going to be on that one. We're going to stay on this side. That takes you to the other side. I'm not going on that. It's because it could be... And so I decided to get off the trail just to get the shot. Because such a big, tall pitch pine over here. That is a beauty, too. I got some little ones near, too. Also a beauty. Yeah, it's just amazing. All right. It's, it's easy just to stare, stay in the same spot and just stare, you know. It's just so beautiful. Look. Here's more. Look at that. Look at that! I've been here like two hours and maybe I've walked a mile or two and that's it because it's just so beautiful everywhere you turn. Wow, that was incredible. All right, we gotta start doing a little more walking, all right? <laughs> I mean, this place is just incredible. It's a butterfly over there. I don't know what kind of butterfly it is. It's a small one. Oh, it is beautiful. The oaks are really 
And they bloom. They really get into this. Put on this little color show here. Look at this. I mean. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so here's a little path down the other uh, the other lake. Yes, there's more than there's quite a few lakes here. The lakes here are not a little nice in the Brookhaven State Park. They're a little bigger. Oh, look at that, more color. Oh, incredible. This place is so spectacular. It really is. Unfortunately, I feel a few pine flies as we get into May. That's we have to start dealing with pine flies. Okay. I have a little bench here, too. The good thing is no one is here. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Attention of you, another view of the lake here. Isn't that incredible? This place might top Sears Bellows. It might actually top Sears Bellows. <laughs> amazing. Just amazing. The sky is so blue. The shapes are just amazing. Shapes are beautiful. Delicious. That's what you call a delicious scene right there. So 
the pond is called Brassy Pond. Wind's picking up now, I notice. Well, that's dragonflies around here. These guys are very beneficial. The uh, predators of the pine flies. Another one over there. Focus, that would be great. These guys have been on the earth for a very long time. Way longer than we have. Actually, these are some of the first life forms on the... These, I think these life forms were around when the dinosaurs were around. But the, when, the, when the dinosaurs were around, uh, you had, uh, they were much larger. They were like the size of birds. Some of them maybe even bigger than that. So yeah, yes, you can see descendants of the Jurassic Age here in the Pine Barrens. Wow, incredible spot. Oh, here we go. Is it like a little meadow in here? Let's see, get closer to these beauties. Okay, I have to get a little closer. Oh, look at that. Look at these shapes. Damselfly. This damselfly or another type of dragonfly. Very hard to see. You have to really look. Let's take this in. Wow, wow. I'll tell you. This place might top Sears Bellows. I like Sears Bellows, but this place. This place. I, oh, man. Just look at this sky. This beautiful blue sky. Follow this trail. Um, I was gonna take it to another trail. South. I've gobbled up a ton of time here. Just, I mean, it's just incredible. The sky is just so beautiful today. It's like, it's just, it's spectacular, man. It's just spectacular. So cool and comfortable. It's amazing. Alright, bearing to the right. We're going to the right. We're not going back the way we came in. I think I want to go this way. I'll have to see if I have time to do that. I may not have time now. Because there's another trail that comes out that way that I want to take. Um, so I think we're going to do that. Oh, man. Time I really wanted to go that way. I'll have to see where I'm at. That's a big beauty right there, man. All right, let's continue on here. We saw a bird over here, but. We're going to fo follow this trail, and then I'm going to follow the trail that's going to take us back over there. This place is just a, a completely amazing. It's just completely amazing. Just the shapes in here, the colors. This camera doesn't even do it justice. 
I do see the bird up there. I don't know what kind that is. Wow, what an incredible place this is. You gotta come May, the fall, and particularly the fall and the uh, springtime. The pines really just come alive with color. Entirely pitch pines over here. Actually, I think we're coming up. If we keep going south, we're going to come up on the burn area where the where the, there was a bad fires in the southern part of this park. So if we keep going south, that's what we'll come across. You know, this, this place is just amazing. I mean, the colors from everything. I mean, this camera doesn't do it justice. You have to be here. No camera is going to do it justice. You have to be here. All right, continuing on here. All right, we're getting the area that burned. You can see the charred tree. Tr I don't know. This looks more, looks more like a controlled burn area. See, this reminds me a lot of Double Trouble State Park. This may have been a controlled burn. Yeah, this looks like this was done. This was a controlled burn here. Look at that. See, they do this all the time in, in uh, New Jersey. What should I say? Jersey, but uh, yeah, look at that. This, I guess we shouldn't be making fun of New Jersey because they do it there. Now it's time that we're starting to finally get with the program and starting to do it here, too. Yep, you know, with the black and tree trunks. I don't know if this was part of the, the, the wildfire or, or, or part of a controlled burn, might have been part of the wildfire, but it just goes to show you the pines just they don't get affected, they only get stronger. What kills everything else makes the pine stronger, and that's especially true with fire. See, you don't see too many oaks, there's a few oaks, but it's mostly all pines over here. So, not many oaks at all. It's almost all pines. I don't see, actually, I don't see any oaks here at all. It's just all pines. Look at that. Now, this is a response to fire you get. Is epicormic growth on the lower branches there. Pitch pines grow shoots of pine needles out of their lower bark. That's a response to fire. There aren't many trees that do that. That's why you gotta love pitch pines. Look at this. So over there you see a lot of the trees died. This is the, the core where this is the area which if a fire gets really uncontrollable it will kill all the trees. But for the most part, the pines can survive a lot. Yeah, so here you'll see, this is where the, really the fire got really hot. This is where it killed a lot of the trees. But I do see some seedlings in the midst. Look at that. This is beautiful here. All right, there's a junction of trails. And I thought that was the trail I have to go on, but it's not. This takes me southeast. I have to go on that one that takes me northeast. So, so we're going to be going on that one. This one's going to be a little bit... This goes right to the heart of the burn area, so... I mean, this is just... Pretty amazing. So we're going to be heading that way. Okay, so here's the heart of the burn area here. See lots of seedlings growing. See all the trees that are. This is the heart of the burn area. This trail is going to eventually get too overgrown. Right now it's still passable. See, that was a tree that, that survived and it butted back. It's amazing. I think we're getting a sea breeze. Yeah, because that's southwest, so we're getting a sea breeze, I think. Uh, there's some new pines, all full of vigor. Good little 
butterfly there, another little, it's like these little brown ones, I don't know what kind they are. Alright, continuing northeast here. I wanted to take this trail because I knew it got a, this, this area was affected. I came here, this is really nice. And the fire is a necessary force of renewal in the Pine Barrens. Just remember that. That's what keeps the Pine Barrens healthy. Look at that, that is it's pure pitch pine over here. This reminds me so much of Double Trouble State Park in New Jersey. Yep. Check this out. Looks like we have two butterflies mating here. Let's not bother them. Keep moving. Look at this. I mean, this is just incredible. So piney here. And the smell is wonderful. All right, continuing on this path. I think we've got another little opening area here. Yeah, it's a nice little opening area here, a little open area. Sometimes these areas are maintained for um, turkey hunters and stuff like that. Maybe deer hunters and stuff. <sighs> Beautiful. Can't stop saying it, you know? It's just amazing here. Alright, looks like we're coming to the end. I see the yellow gate. Look at this. It's just beautiful. I'll tell you, what an amazing hike this was. Definitely up there with some of the best of the best. Got to see the lakes. We got to see plenty of shapes. We got to see some spring color. What more could you ask for? So there's the yellow gate. That's going to wrap up this video. You see it down there on the road. That's going to wrap up this video here and this amazing hike here at Robert Cushman Murphy Preserve. I think that's what it's called. It could be. It's, it goes by different names. Robert Cushman Murphy Preserve, Otis Pike Natural Area. Uh, but whatever the name is, it's amazing. So definitely one of the must play, what must go to places in the Pine Barrens. So thank you for watching and remember, as always, what it's all about. It's all about those great shapes.